On September 11, 2001, Al-Qaeda hijacked four airplanes and carried out suicide attacks on the World Trade Center. We were all sad, worried and heartbroken by the visuals that we saw on September 11. This was the beginning of the war between the USA and the Taliban. Because the Taliban refused to hand over Osama Bin Laden. Yes, the biggest terrorist the world has ever seen. But 20 years later, we see the same kind of visuals where people are helpless, crying and running for their lives. What happened in these 20 years? And why are the people of Afghanistan scared for their lives? Watch till the end to find out. So what is happening in Afghanistan? The US is fully withdrawing from Afghanistan, leaving the country after 20 years of war and more than 100,000 lives lost. Everyone criticized Joe Biden's decision to end the US presence in Afghanistan. Mr. Biden has been accused of abandoning the women and the girls of Afghanistan who will likely have their rights repressed under the new Taliban. They are abusing the woman. They, the woman doesn't have any right. We want right for people, for our people. Why are the people running away from the country? People are worried the country under the Taliban will be unbearable to live. The Taliban could carry out revenge attacks against those who worked with the Americans. Many also fear the Taliban will bring in the harsh interpretation of the Islamic law. From 1996 to 2001, when Taliban ruled the country, women were barred from attending schools or working outside their homes. They have to wear the all-covering burqa, be accompanied by a male relative whenever they went outside. The Taliban banned music, cut off hands of thieves, and stoned adulterers. What happened at the Kabul airport? Thousands of Afghans rushed to the airport, hoping to escape the country. Some were so desperate, they clung to the side of a military jet when it took off and fell to death. A very sad video to watch where people are feeling helpless. Why are the Taliban taking over now? Probably because the US troops are set to leave the country by the end of this month. The US has been trying to get out of Afghanistan. It's longest war for several years now. Last year, then President Donald Trump signed a deal with the Taliban that limited military action against them. Then President Joe Biden announced that the US military will leave Taliban by the end of August 2021. Afghanistan was never supposed to be nation building. It was never supposed to be creating a unified, centralized democracy. The Taliban saw the opportunity and within weeks took control of the entire Afghanistan. What happened to the president and the Afghan security forces? The simple answer is the president of Afghanistan ran away and the Afghan security forces collapsed. As Taliban reached the capital, the president left Afghanistan saying he has chosen to leave to avoid further bloodshed. <laughs> Seeing all this, the Afghan security forces surrendered with very little fight. What does the Taliban takeover mean for the women in Afghanistan? Many fear it could mean a severe rollback of women's rights. Afghan women had become good in every field after Taliban was overthrown. Many are worried that they will be again once again confined to their homes. Will the Taliban once again harbor Al-Qaeda? The Taliban has pledged to prevent Afghanistan to be used as a base for attacks on other countries. But American military officials are worried. Officials are warning that such groups could grow faster than expected. What will happen in Afghanistan? It is not clear and it is in the hands of the Taliban. They have pledged to enforce Islamic law but encourage women to join their government. They are holding meetings with senior politicians and leaders. They say they will provide a secure environment for the return of normal life after decades of war. But many Afghans distrust the Taliban and fear their rule will be violent and oppressive. What do you feel? Do you think the Taliban will deliver on their promises? Or are the Afghan people and women going to live their life in fear? Do comment on what you think we can do. If you're first time visiting the channel, do subscribe and keep supporting by hitting the like button. Until next time, I'm Nahas Khan. 